Oh, hello and welcome to Abbey Road Studios. Here we are in Studio One. We've just recorded 40 string players, um, strangely enough, for a Songs of Praise session here in the UK for BBC Television. Having 40 string players in front of you as a conductor is a bit daunting. Normally we have a full orchestra and the pressure's off as to which instrument is the best. But when you only have string players, it does make you wonder, is it going to be violin, viola, cello or double bass? So here on Ted's list, I thought one of the best things to do is to get four string players together and have a good old argument and figure out which string instrument is the best. So if you follow me, over here we have Jamie on violin, we have Mark on viola, we have Neris on cello, and we have Dave on double bass. And so all I'm going to do is hand over as to which one is best. Bass is best. Look at this. Okay. See? Okay. Easy. Easy. All you can do is literally Pretty much, actually. All yeah. you can do. Well, I'm going to stop you there, actually, Jamie. Um, Robert mentioned that this was going to be an argument, and um, as you can clearly see, it's not an argument, it's just a fact that the bass is the strongest instrument. The most versatile, I can do all kinds of music on this thing, play super low, might occasionally play super yeah, high. But to be I honest, don't know if you want to hear on. that. Do you ever get a tune in an orchestra symphony? Well, tune? not often. Who needs a tune? I can confirm there's no need to get a tune to be the best in the instrument Thank in the orchestra. You. Thank but I'm, you I'm not saying that's, 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 that's the best. I'm saying that's the viola. You just do the um cha cha. So, yes. so we're teaming up now. We're teaming okay, up. Yeah, it's viola fine. and bass yeah. versus cello and violin. <laughs> right, okay. Well, basically, I love the cello, obviously, because I chose it to play. Um, even though it's a little bit annoying to carry around, but look, uh, it's about <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, what's yeah, that? but to be honest, you do get car parking space. I get a parking spot. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, the cello is like a human being. It's like my friend, and I can give it a hug when I want to. How many times, on average, per year, do you get asked, "Do you wish you played the flute?" Uh, every time I leave the house, at, at least once, <laughs> or. Um, that's a big guitar, mate, isn't it? Have uh, you got one of those wheels on it to wheel I, around? Yeah, I've got, the, I've got a bass buggy, as we call it. So what, why do you play the viola? Is it because you're not very good on the violin? Oh, that's... Oh, my God. She goodness. didn't right. go there. Oh, I just, I'm just going to say, I was highly qualified on the violin before I changed the viola, but I just you're chose the viola. Good. I think it was basically because I was too good. I had to give everyone else a chance. So I was like, I've got the best bits of the violin you and the, the best violin. bits of the cello all in the viola. I don't have to carry around anything as heavy as that. So. Can you I top do. that, Jamie, do you think? Can you? Well, the thing is, as a violinist, I have a bit of a split personality. I'm not, I know you've been thinking that for years anyway. So I was going to say, yes, I just, violin. let's not get into that now. <laughs> but no, because with violins, you've got this like first violin, second violin thing. And so I totally know what you two are saying about... Um, like not just always having the tune, having like the harmony in the middle and having a nice supporting role. So I kind of get to do both, which is nice. I actually think I prefer playing second violin in orchestra yeah. for the same reason. Because you're close to the violas, probably. Close yeah. to the violas, yeah. yeah, close to the violas, and you get to you get to have the tune sometimes, but then you also get to play the nice harmony as well. So. And you're not squeaking up really high. All not the time. squeaking up really high. Yeah. You know, you can see not so much, not so much, but <laughs> dusty up there. Bit dusty. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever get arguments between the sections? Do you, do you ever feel like the, the people who sit in the first think they're way cooler than the people who sit in the seconds? Yeah. Or vice versa? It's really interesting though, because sometimes first violins can get quite um, proud of being first violins. And then you see them all in the break, they're practising their part, they're putting fingerings in the parts that they've got. And you're just thinking... I'm getting the same money today uh, as you're getting. <laughs> I'm not practising in the break. By which point, we're all in the pub anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I wish, one thing that I wish I could do on the violin is slap bass. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go Can on, do treat me, treat me. Um, oh, God, here we go. Oh, yeah. It's not really designed for it, yeah. you know what I mean? If I had a bass guitar, it'd be slightly different. But cello can actually... Be quite bassy, uh, uh, you know. If I'm playing, on, show, 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 if I'm doing, show, show, show. A, if I'm do, I can't slap bass. But if I'm playing, like for a pop gig, for instance, I can really do quite a nice bass rhythm. You know, nice. a nice little yeah. walking Chunky. bass. Yeah. And also, we've got the nice uh, high tune. 
You can play a bit of everything. I think the, probably the best bit of the viola is a similar chuck bit it, to chuck the chuck it chuck chuck. Yeah, <laughs> firewood. <probably. laughs> but I think probably somewhere like the G and the C strings on the viola, probably the bit that the violin doesn't have, basically. The C strings, just beautiful, warm sound. <laughs> I just love it down there on the sea screen, basically, and that's the sign that none of you guys have, so... I can only go this way. Yeah. Not the same, is it? No, not quite. The not the same. same. Well, how high can you... Sorry, hold on. So, Mark, you're saying the best thing about a viola yeah. is that it can play a bit lower than the violin, that's... but it can't play as low as the cello. Uh, yeah, basically, yeah. Or... <laughs> or... <laughs> Yeah, but that's not really. Just chuck it out. That's the norm. So, so let me get this right. Let me just get this right. This is very important for the health of the classical music world. The double bass can slap bass and have fun. <laughs> Rarely would happen in real life. Well, yeah, but it can. <laughs> the cello can pretty much play from almost, sort of, from the double bass bottom, almost, almost up to the violin top. Mm -hmm. The violin can play like really, really high and very, very fast passages. Let's hear, let's hear some so the bit. viola... <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Just got that bit in between the cello and the violin, I guess. So essentially what you're saying is the viola is kind of middle of the road. Yeah, I would say middle of the road. No one starts playing the viola thinking it's the best instrument. It doesn't need to be the best instrument. Whereas like maybe violin or cello or double bass, you kind of you need that to be like, yeah, I'm playing the best instrument, but everyone on the viola just sits there, plays their quavers and gets on with it, and that's, that's enough, you know? But oh, without it's... the viola, yes. there would be something missing, wouldn't it? You are Very the nice glue you say, yeah. that glues us together. He's the Thank jam you. in the sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. There's one yeah. thing that I can do. You play the bass standing up. You can play standing up, but I never get to stand up because I'm so lazy. I sit down all the time to play the cello. <laughs> so you're lazy? Well, oh no, I shouldn't say I'm lazy. But Cellists I'm, are lazy. I'm, that's I'm lazy. That's that's what to relax. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. All right. But you also have to sit on a stool, though, don't you? If we would, you know, for example, in an orchestra session, I would sit on a stool. Yes, but I can. So, so let me just get this right. The reason why you sit on a stool is just so you can transition from a bar stool to an orchestral <laughs> stool without yeah, essentially yeah, moving. That's just there David. That. That's nothing to do with double bass. <laughs> Fine, yeah, good. Yeah. So what about the fastest? So how fast can you play yeah. on your violin? Well, it's interesting because I was just thinking, okay, what could I play? But actually, can you give me D, A, D, A? Can you give me that? Um, yeah. There. Yeah. Now, how fast can you play on your viola? Wow, I, I don't know if I can play that fast, but I'll give my best shot. Go on. Probably, uh... <laughs> If I, if I may, I don't actually need to play fast or do any of this show and off kind of stuff because just see that. And that's, <laughs> that's just, oh, well. you could do that Woo! as well. So, it speaks know. for itself. For exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Fantastic. So, have we discovered which one is the best string instrument? It's actually the bass. It's actually definitely. It's definitely the, the bass. bass. <laughs> it's a fact. No, it's, it's definitely the cello. Fact. Fact. Definitely. Yeah. I'm not even going to attempt to argue this. Okay, so the viola is out. That's okay. So the viola is out. The viola is very happy that they are not <laughs> the best string instrument. What about the violin? I still feel pretty confident the violin is the best. Yeah. But I will concede that I needed you to make it sound cool. So, but, and if I'd just done that on my own. It would have sounded, Still sounded pretty cool. odd. Yeah. Well, no, I was going to say lonely. Wait, so if um, we're saying you've all got one vote and I've got the casting vote for which one of those you do. three is the best? You do. Wow, that's a lot of power yeah, that the viola is. doesn't normally get. Isn't <laughs> it? Yeah. So who is oh, your casting man. vote? I'm going to say, I, personally, the cello is my favourite of the three instruments. Yes. Not a big fan of the violin. The bass <gasps> is great. But, but also we have cello. the same strings, don't we? That's right, yeah. You see, we are a team. Yeah. You see, this is where I think it's all gone wrong, to be honest with you. <laughs> because they think they have the very best string instrument. But we all know, technically it's a percussion instrument, but we all know the very, very best string instrument 
is the one which has 203 strings and go right from the very bottom all the way through to the very top. The best string instrument by far, even though it's really a percussion instrument, is the piano. <laughs> no. Try putting that on your back. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Ladies and gents, thank you very much for being such fantastic musicians. Thank you for joining us here on Ted's List. And if you're thinking about playing an instrument, the viola, well, play it. It's a beautiful instrument, as are the others. Thank you very much, everybody.